Good afternoon, everybody. How are we getting on? Friday are here again. Do you know, these Fridays come round ever so quick. And you just think, what happened to the week? And then really, is it weekend? Weekends seem to sort of merge into one these days, I think. And uh, we just sort of forget a little bit, don't we? So, not to worry, though. We're here now. It's two o'clock. It's Friday. It's tangle time. So look at this. We're actually on the 12th of the 2nd, 21, and it's tile 112. So all the ones and twos today. So absolutely brilliant. Imagine that. So welcome. And do you know what? We've, uh, we've been spending quite a lot of time packing, as you can imagine. So thank you so much for all your orders. If it wasn't for, for you putting orders in, then of course I wouldn't still be going, would I? Um, and that's really something to uh, just re keep reminding myself of and uh, and how grateful I am. So thank you for that. Um, what are we doing today? We're gonna do something a little bit more organic. So here we go, let's have a look. Now, if I just line up that there, I'm just gonna go in one line. All right, so straight into it today, no time to lose. This is quite um, a detailed one, but I'm hoping that we're gonna like it. It's gonna be uh, nice. So yeah, just got my pencil, my pen, my tortillon. I do have my pastel pencils sat here, but please feel free to use your pastels, colours, whatever you've got, or just keep it simple if you want to. It's entirely up to you. Oh, Sue, yes, it has been, it's freezing. And I do make apologies for my hands because they're a little bit rough around the edges because of course opening and packing parcels is a little bit, you know on your hands. I'm going to put some cream on in a little bit, but that's all fine. For now, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I've got this line and it's sort of not even in the middle, maybe a third of the way in and I'm actually going to work it so my tile goes this way, but it's just a little more comfortable to start with if I use it that way. So if that, that helps everyone. So let's just have a little bit of a guide going on here then. So um, just going to, I'm just going to mark it middle-ish and then in the middle of that one. Oh, hi everybody it's lovely that we get together again you know it it's lovely isn't it it's just like friends meeting together back in the pub for a drink isn't it it's lovely I know we'll do that soon so there we go so how many marks have I got I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine so let's have a look so I want actually two sections, two sections, two sections, two sections. There we go. Oh, Julie, don't you bring any more snow. I was honestly quite anxious coming home the other night because didn't really want to have snow <laughs> on my way home. Because it was dark and you just don't need it. But no, it was all good. I actually drove straight through, straight down the A1, which is un quite unusual for that time of night. You know, you know recent but no, it's all good. I was back by I don't know, half past 11-ish, something like that. So quite a long day, really, from uh, getting up at half past three to being out there. But no, it's all worth it. It's all good. It's worth it. I absolutely love what I do. Okay, straight in with a the pen then. You see where I've got these little marks? I'm going to start on this one here. And I'm going to put a little loop from there to there. Okay. And then I'm going to miss one. And then I'm going to do the same again. There we go. And then I'll miss one. And do the same again. And this one. And the same again. Yeah. Well, to be honest, do you know, had it been snowing and had the weather been really bad on Wednesday, I had booked one of their pods, so I was going to stay over if I needed to. And I did check all the weather reports before I uh, set off. So I know that it was very, very uh, likely it wasn't gonna snow and give me problems. That's why I set off, so. Okay, here we go. So I've got this sort of loop-de-loop -loop going on. It doesn't matter which way around we are at the minute at all, because, you know, we're gonna just create a few little bits and pieces here and then see where it goes. Okay, we're ready then. Straight in with a pen. And I'm going to actually put in, let's have a look now. Yeah, I'm going to put in from, you know, between these two here, I'm going to put in a little loop from there to there. Okay. 
and then the same here from there to there. Oh, thank you, Granny. So yeah, I do. I do enjoy going down there. I do love it. Get to you know, do a little bit of demonstrating, doing what I love. It's lovely. There we go. And I'm going to turn over. I did notice actually with packing that we've got quite a few new tanglers coming on. So if anybody's new today or they've not been doing it long, welcome. Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> oh, Diane, that's great news. Vaccine, brilliant. All right, see, so you know, they're similar, but they're not the same. It really doesn't matter. Oh, hello, Richard. <laughs> nice to see you. Well, virtually, of course, you know what I mean. There we go. Your order, Richard, has just left the building. So I know we packed it yesterday. So uh, I don't know whether he was uh, a little bit miserable today, but he's just left. So I do apologise if anybody's not got theirs in that lot of packing. We are getting through them as quickly as we can. So I know Leslie's still going in there. And John's in there with his beanie hat on, helping her out. So here we are. I'll be back to it after this. So. We'll, uh, we'll have the rest out on Monday. There we go. Okay, a little bit of an aura in there. There we go. All right, I'm just going to pull out a little bit. Oh, there we go. So we've got that kind of shape going on. All right, so I'm now going to sort of create a larger one of these little curves here. I'm going to go from, not from the middle, from about here. I'm going to create a loop there. Oh, hi Lisa. <laughs> and a little one there, see? And the same there. Do you know what I think whilst I'm still on this line? Oh, Julie, I know those owls are divine and I really do I'm going to finish that picture. Especially as they went straight across the pad and onto a tile. It's lovely. Now, I, I did show you and I did say, oh, this one was um, John, <laughs> if you remember, in his beanie hat. But I didn't sort of say yet. There was a little owl next to him and it had got a hat on with two bobbles like a Mickey Mouse. Yeah, that's me because I've got a hat with Mickey Mouse bobbles on. So everybody laughs at me, but that's okay. It's because I'm warm and I don't care. There we go. So here we go. Lovely little pattern there. Okay. Now, remember when I said I've got quite a lot of space here? And then just a little bit here. So on the where you've got the little bit, I'm just going to come back in and I'm just going to add two little lines there. And two little lines there. Okay. Oh, thank you, June. We do do our best because I know once you've ordered it, you want it, don't you? I'm saying I want it now. Why do I have to wait? So we work really hard to, and we, we do quite long, long hours and weekends just to get it all out. So, yeah. But if it wasn't for, you know, everybody out there ordering, then I wouldn't be doing this would I? because I wouldn't have a job. So, you know, it's, it's lovely. It does look a bit like a bracelet, doesn't it? Okay, I'm going to come in a little bit larger now. And all I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn it back around on its side. And I'm not going to, yes, I think I am. I'm actually going to add a row of bubbles all the way around now i'm going to go around both sides so if you've started on one side and thought oh my goodness she did the wrong thing that i've done the wrong side no you haven't it's fine there we go just adding in those little uh, bubbles there something about bubbles it just sort of brings it back to life doesn't it changes it out a bit there we go and keep it going You know, when you see all those other presenters on Create and Craft, they've got those lovely nails and nice hands. <laughs> and you look at mine. You can tell I work with my hands. <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. They'll be fine. Here we are. Keep working it out. So I'm just going all the way around the outside. Don't worry about whether they're the same size or not. You just want to try and get them to touch each other 
if you can just follow the line that you've created there we go <laughs> yes julie tally nailed they wouldn't last two minutes <laughs> not not in here no but uh, yeah i used to i used to have long nails and when i was teaching and things but no they sort of get in the way a little bit at the minute so there we go. Oh, Benji and Seth were pleased to see me Wednesday night. Benji went a little bit loopy, ran round the car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, okay, so let's just have a quick look at that. Yeah, I know, Richard. Yeah, at least I'm not covered in ink. I usually, <laughs> I'm usually covered in ink as well, but there we go. All right, there we go. So that's our first sort of port of call so I'm going to now work on this way so you see I've got the smallest bit here and then I've got the larger space there so if I come into this first one here I'm going to work in the larger sections and I'm going to add one of those little loops in there I know June and they must do it's uh, crazy isn't it and two loops either side same again one two loops either side there and I'm going to come in and any of those little gaps I'm just going to fill them in with some black ink now of course you can fill them in in any colour you like but you can keep it the same as mine it's entirely up to you there we go and then let's just come on in and just have a little line just going back to that point there we go okay okay Next one, I loop in the middle and then first one and second one and then this side. There we go, one, two. It helps to sort of gauge the space, doesn't it, if you start in that middle area. And again, let's just come on in, fill those gaps in. There we go. And this one. Just working your way around little bits okay so let's then again bring those little lines in there we go as we go and on to the next one and this is adding the black in there is starting just to give a little bit of drama to your piece and it's nice to have that little bit of difference so we're starting to create levels and this is even before we, we had any pencil or shading. It was just nice to add a little bit in there. Okay, there we go. So that's where we're at the moment. So I'm going to sort of repeat that pattern. If I come in a little bit larger, there we go. Just in these little ones here. So see, I'm going to get one in the middle and then one either side. And then fill it in with those little lines and then just completely cover that space so if I do this one there we are into there and into those fill in the space just as before oh it does a little bit yeah oh it's uh, quite nice to uh, they're quite nice to decorate actually those little rulers and, uh, I have got some larger ones, but they're more, um, they've got little squares and circles in. I keep meaning to put them on the website. I'll, I will get round to it. Actually, I noticed that book four is not on there, so I need to get that on as well. I need to get my act together. What am I doing with my days? <laughs> there we go. All right, so that's where we've started. So that's just it down there okay so that's how it looks so far so if I turn it around again now in my little sort of loops here all I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a little heart shape you see let's go a little bit larger there we go and then I could do the same here look does anybody think it was Valentine's Day so we've got to get a couple of hearts in in a few places if we can same on this one and that one 
And then of course, same on this one. This is nice sometimes just to throw that in, isn't it? There we go. Okay. So next then, let's move on. I think I'm gonna leave the bottom section just for now. And I think we'll work on this top area here, okay? So again, let's have a look. I'm gonna bring in a, let's have a look first. You might wanna just sort of hang on just for a minute and see what I'm doing here. And then you can decide where you're gonna put yours because we're gonna do more than one little bubble, okay? Then again, it's going a little bit larger so you can see now, all right. And then I'm gonna create a little bubble, sort of an aura-ish around it. And then let's do another around it. All right. Okay. So the next one then, I'm gonna sort of see where the bubble and this first line meet. I'm just gonna bring out a line. And same this side. Looks like a little bee at the minute, but it's not. It's just giving you an idea where we're going. All right, on this bottom, let's just add a little bit of a half bubble. Okay. Just gonna fill that in. And then I'm gonna bring this down and around. And down and round. Okay. And then let's do another. See? Either side. <laughs> yeah. And down and round. Just as before. Now don't worry if they're different either side, it's not a problem. Okay, same here. And then round and again I'm going back into that little piece there. Okay, so I've got three. I'm going to do one here. And then if you want to turn it round, there we go, just so we can see where we're headed with it. Okay, turning it back around, there we go. Got this really quite strange sort of shape. But let's just bring a line out from that semi sort of circle bubble and bring it down here. There we go. There's our first one. Okay, let's have a look at that. There you are. Okay, so let's, let's do another. I'm gonna bring another one in here. There we go. A little one there. And then as before, let's just go around. You see, I'm just sort of almost like a little smile there. It's like a, <laughs> yeah. All right. And then next one in there. There we are. I think let's just put that little half circle in and fill it in there. So we know what we're doing now. Okay. <laughs> and then a little curve, remember? Like we did like little antennae. And then I'm going to bring it down and round. Same this side. Now if you want to do each side, you know, separately, so you want to do the left and then the right, or right and then left, that's absolutely fine. You do it whichever way suits you. But I just wanted to give you an idea of where everything's going, so you can sort of see, and it's quite clear where, where things are going to be. See here, I'm doing those ones now. And then back in and back in. And then I'm going to have another line. Let's bring it down off this one. There we go. It's going to go under there. Okay. They're lovely, aren't they? <laughs> All right, let's have another look. Let's do one. Oh, I'm going to do one sort of here, a little bit closer to the, the ground, if that's what we're calling it. All right. So here we go. Round that circle, that section there. Then another one. And then in we go. I'm just gonna fill that in. And then let's do a little kink, a little kink, like little antennae. And then back in and round, back in and round. And then again, there we go. So I know where I'm coming from with that. Round and up into that point. And that one. And the same again. There we go. Back and round. And back and round. And then sort of little legs. 
uh -huh. back and round, back and round. And again, let's just join it. There we go. Look at them. <laughs> and they're yours. I know. <laughs> Oh, I know, Bernadette, yeah. Do you know, actually, you, when you do look at them, I mean, because, of course, of oh, there's so many, isn't there? And I, I do try and mix and match it so you, you get some organic ones and some grid ones. And we've done some absolutely cracking tiles, haven't we? And I mean, I know some of them you look at and you think, oh, my goodness, that's a bit challenging. But do you know, that's what cuts, sort of keeps things going, isn't it? If they were all easy... You'd um, you'd find it a bit boring, you know. Sometimes you want something to have a go at and think, you know, I'm not quite sure, but let's have a go. And the, it's nice to try. It. And then I think even if you don't get it, you can come back to it in I don't know a few weeks or a month's time and give it another go. And you find that you've made progress that you can actually then you can do it. And the sense of achievement is just crazy. And you think, I couldn't do that a few weeks ago. Now look at what I can do. It's fabulous. I'm so proud of you all. Even when you, you know, you post your pictures. And I mean, having said that, you know, I know we've done our towel swap. You don't have to post pictures of your towel swap if you don't want to. So don't think, oh, everybody else is. And I, I wanted just to keep mine for me. That's fine. You, you don't have to. But, um, it's entirely up to you. And having said that. It is tile swap number two, Woo starting on Monday, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I know, Julie. but you know, Julie, it's it's not just it's not just me. If everybody wasn't joining in and you weren't taking part and coming back and watching these videos, then we wouldn't have a community. So it's everybody. It's a team, isn't it? Big team effort. And it's the same with the tiles. It's just a really nice way of getting to know people that are on this community you know it's helping each other and just it's just another something nice to get in the post isn't it other than a bill <laughs> okay. oh Lindsay Lindsay to be honest I could I mean I can't tell you now but I can tell you who got it is uh, so I was gonna actually write down who who was uh, getting who, so we don't really keep repeating it. Okay. All right, so we can we can keep adding more, but I want to add a couple of other bits and pieces in before we do. If I just enlarge a little bit, here we go. And I'm just gonna come in, and I'm just gonna add a little line. You see, just almost like a, a vein almost, maybe. Let's put a little dot or two on each one. Just adds a little bit of extra definition, you see? You notice again, I'm trying to work it so it's almost going back into that point. But of course, because they're underneath each other, you're not going to see all of it. So just imagine where it's going. Okay. Oh, Julie, we might be. <laughs> I might be changing it slightly today, though. You never know. If you want to add singers, you can add singers. Just don't get carried away. But of course, not just yet. You know, they're almost the last tangle to go on, aren't they? There we go. All right. So I'll continue that round and just just adds that little bit of a touch of detail into each of those uh, petals there. There we go. Little bubbles and dots. Now these would be quite nice to do with gel pens and things later if you want to add to it. Or maybe I've um, been using a, a black glaze pen, you know, just to sort of bring out some of those black details that we do. And they're quite cool. They're um, a Sakura jelly roll kind of glazy. You can get them in all sorts of colours. They look fab. You just have to make sure that you don't rub over them after or you, and you leave them for a while to dry. Oh, okay. And uh, let's just work our way in with these ones. So I'm same thing, just adding in that little vein, pretending because it's going to go underneath. And a couple of little dots. There we go. 
really straightforward, but it just adds that little bit of detail that we want. All right. Okay. Next bit then. I'm going to be, let's have a look. I'm going to come out here. There we go. A couple of lines. And you're going to recognise this one if you've been doing this for a little while. A little bit of a curl on the bottom there. And then I'm going to go from, now I'm going to go a little bit larger just so you can see in case you've not done these before. Here we go. From this point here, down, you see, down and out. The same here, down and out. Okay. And then let's have another one here. Same thing, see if you can have them curved lines, you can have them as straight lines, but you're working not from the end there, you're working from this bit here where that stem joins in. There we go. That's, that's just, oh, so if my stand keeps wobbling. All right, let's have another few in this section here. There we go. And I can have another one coming off here. Let's bring it down there. And up and round, so it's gonna go underneath that one. We like things that go over and under. Again, it's adding that depth, giving you the feeling that it's not just a two-dimensional image, it's something more. See, that's gonna sort of sit there, that up and round. There we go, a little one there. Let's move along a touch. And we get the smaller one there. And here we go with that one. And keep it going, there we go. Oh, can okay, yeah. you hear the kettle going? Yeah. It's Leslie making tea, I think. Yeah. All right. And this one. There we go. Okay. And there you go. You know, we're talking about tiles and who got whose. I don't know who got mine. Because, especially with the, mine and Leslie's, we actually, we picked out an envelope because we just like put our hand in the box and picked out an envelope. Um, so it was completely random. Not saying that our tiles are any better than anybody else's, but you know, we thought we'd just, we, would, we didn't want to, I didn't want to be influenced by names and things. And I didn't think that was fair. So I, uh, that's how we did it. Stuck our hand in and picked out an envelope. There we go. Another one there. Look like little upside down hearts, don't they? Yeah, we're getting hearts in. All right. See, I think I'm gonna have. See there. Looking at this here now, you so everything seems to sort of be standing up bank. So I'm just gonna add in a little one there, just to sort of like change it up a little bit. Let's have a look then. All right, so here we go. I'm going to put another one here. There we go. All right. Oh, I'm liking that. I'm really liking this one. I think it's it's going to be a lovely one, isn't it? So that's just, yeah, I'm going to add another one in there. Okay. So, let's, um, um, let's have a look. I'm going to just add a little bit of a curve in. There we go. A little dot on the end. Okay, oh, you think, okay, here are the zingers, not quite. Just going to add a little heart shape on the top there. And then let's just do another one here. Another one here. There, see, that's going to sit underneath there, though. I'm just going to join them back. There we go, that one's going to go under there. Get one in here. Now, if you don't want to put hearts in, you don't have to. You can just have uh, little leaf shapes. It's entirely up to you. But, you know, being that it's that kind of romantic kind of weekend. There we go, I'm putting a little dot. I'm actually going to go back and put little dots on. Oh, those little bits there. There we go. Just thought it'd be nice to just change it up a little bit. There we are, see. Have a couple of those little hearts going down there. No. And who knows, you know, if you decide that this is what you're going to give to your loved one, stick it on a card. I've saved you a job this weekend. Tangling all in the middle of it. There we are. You see? 
Okay, so let's have, oh, let's have another one coming out of here. Well, so I don't want them all sort of standing up in a row across there. I want them all to be, you know, looking like leaves and flowers in the wind, you know, moving around. There we go, some little dots on there. I'm not going to see much of that one. There we go. Oh, is it Julie? We go, see, so you have to do two cards. That's another one there. What do you do, like, one card for two things, maybe? There we go, some dots there, see? Could be almost like little balloons, couldn't they? Quite sweet. There we go. Another one there. All right, and to this one. And I'm sure you know that uh, Dave from Create and Craft has done a design. It's Downton Abbey image. I know he's going to be starting to put that on sale tomorrow. I don't know what day it is. Uh, sorry, time it is. But I know he's going to put them on. So I'm going to be looking for that myself. I think he's done a really good job of it. That would be lovely. I think there's quite a few people signed it as well. So it might be quite uh, worth having a look at. All right. Okay, I'm loving that. I think we need to do something here, don't we? It's uh, a little bit of something we need to work on. So I'm going to bring it in and I'm actually going to add in some of these lovely little uh, leaf shapes that look like upside down heart. They look like hearts now. Oh, I've got Leslie bringing tea today. I've got John bringing tea, but no biscuits. Leslie brings me biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> You can imagine what he's just said. <laughs> <Here we go. laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. It is a little bit spring-like, isn't it? It does say it's going to warm up next week. I'm sure it did. I think that was what Leslie was saying, so... I'm sure it is. But, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to sort of snuggle down with the duvet, isn't it? And the dog on your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie, <laughs> look, Leslie's packing everybody's parcels, so she can't make tea today. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> John's just wafted my jam dodges for <laughs> everybody. I do like my jammy dodges. Only have one though. There we go. You see, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to add another one here. I think. There we go. Do you see what abuse I have to put up with? <laughs> <laughs> I know, Lindsay. <laughs> Isn't that what a Jody sayings? <laughs> yeah, okay. So, again, I'll, let's, let's go a little bit larger here. Uh, if I just now, I'm going to come from the end, I'm just going to add a little bit of a wave. And a little bit of dots. A bit of a... Here we go. And there we go. I'm just giving a little bit of a wave and then it's just sort of almost breaking up and we're not quite wanting it to all be the same length and of course we don't have to have them all completely in a row it's just nice sometimes to have a bit of a break in between so I'm going to give that a bit of a gap there look feeling them quite quite small in the background there there we go just add in little dots there. Okay. And there we are. So we're working our way down there. Okay. Just something nice. When you think, oh, I've got to do a straight line, you don't with these. You can if you want to, and straight, but it's nice to actually have that little bit of a wave in there, isn't it? Just taking my time. There we go. And just dots and dashes and just little bits of a wave and different levels and just leaving little gaps in between. There we go. Working it nice and gentle. There we go. See? I might even just add a little bit, you know, a little bit on the end. A little bit of a... There we go. And let's have a look at this side. 
So again, just going to work it round. Now, if you think, oh, do you know what? I don't want to do this. I want to put bubbles in. Fine, put bubbles in. Or if you want to add more of the, the little hearty kind of leaf shapes, go ahead. Remember, this is your tile, so you can do what, do what you like. This is just giving you an idea. And then, then it's up to you how you sort of interpret it, I suppose. It is nice, isn't it, to have a look then at what other people have done and see where they've gone with it. I know some of you like to add colour and some are more traditional. This stuff's nice. And I know that, you know, you might look at your little leaves and think they don't look at anything like that, but they're your leaves. So it's absolutely fine. Okay. There we go. You see, just adding little bits. Now I'm not going to add another little heart to this side. I don't want it to be sort of a symmetrical kind of thing. So let's just have a look at that, see where that is. Oh, look at that. See, that's just lovely, isn't it? How that sort of was all worked in there. Really like that bit. So of course, a couple of other bits to do. We're not far off now. And Susan, you're downstairs, you're out of bed. That is absolutely fantastic. Oh, I'm so pleased. How do you feel? Is that good? Yes, it would be nice on black card, wouldn't it? Or even, um, I don't know, inked around the edges first. Maybe um, a blue sort of sky and a little bit of pink in the middle. Quite nice. Okay, so we've got to come to these now. We've got to do something with these. Here we go. Um, okay, so... We could do a mirror image, and I think, do you know what? No, I don't want to do that. So what I am going to do is I'm just going to fill it with some bubbles. Now, I'm not going to go too small here. I'm just going to keep it decent enough size. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go a little bit larger so you can see what I'm doing there. Okay. And then. I'm just going to fill in those gaps. Now, I'm not worried if there's quite a few gaps because we want a little bit of weight at the bottom of this because this is sort of this tile is this way up, so to speak. But then I don't know if anybody knows this tangle. Ooh, do we remember this one? There we are. So, this was from our tile one swap. So, anybody who took part in that will know this tangle really well. It's just a thick line in the middle and then thin either side and then if you can't quite get two in just go with one or two there we go let's have a look at that oh Karen yeah that would be lovely a couple of watercolor backgrounds it's quite nice yeah I think uh, yeah I get I might even actually I think I'm gonna get a bit of ink out on it uh, not so uh, not while we're live, but maybe later when I get home. Because I don't, I don't have any of my inks and things here today. It's, my whole box from Wednesday was just literally put in the uh, put in the kitchen. And it's still there. I haven't had time to unpack it yet. But hopefully we're going to have a bit of a tidy up of the craft room this weekend. And I say we, because I've dragged John in to help me because... I think it's about time I had a real good clean out because there's so much going on. I can't even see my desk some days. And I know we all work that way, but sometimes you've got to have a little bit of a clear head uh, to keep it going, you know. So there we go. These are lovely. I do like this tangle. That's perhaps why we chose it as the, as the first tile swap. So I hope you're not sick of them. <laughs> but they are nice, aren't they? There we go. So you just, if you need to, you know, as you're going in and, you know, filling in these bit of gaps, you might think, oh, do you know what? That needs a bit of a tidy up. Or you can just go in and, and clean up some of those edges. There we go. Oh, Ria, really, I know. So it'll be you and me both then this weekend, eh? I've got some design work to do. I've got um, 
new idea for March that I'm working on. But, you know, sometimes you've just got to think, right, I need a day just to get myself straight. If ever my head was straight. Well, there we go. <laughs> All right. Let's have a look at it. Yeah. I think the um, centre bits here, I'm just going to add a little bit of bubble in there. You see, I'm not going to do anything too crazy because sometimes you do need that little bit of texture in there. Obviously, that one seems to have coloured itself in. So, okay, I'll go ahead and I'll do all of them. There we go. All right. I've got two here that with lines underneath. So, let's just fill it with lines. There we go. Same with this one. And across there, you see again, I started in the middle and worked my way either side. Oh, I know, Shirley. <laughs> I know what you mean. But yeah, it is a bit of a mess. Okay, so the only thing we've not got on here, as you can see at the minute, is the ever elusive zinger, which if you're not sure how to do it, little dot, and then I'm gonna go around, and then around again, and see each time that little aura gets smaller and smaller, okay? Oh, Deborah, yeah, what a good idea. It, it, it is nice having that little pocket one, isn't it? Just stick it in your bag and have done with. It's great. Sometimes, you know, you don't want to do a big piece. You just want to think, I'm just going to do a little, a little bit. And they were, they were really nice for that. Although I must admit, I have, last night I did spend some time on my, my key and clock design that I'd done. So finish that, put a bit of a frame around it and things. What's that done? <laughs> Shirley, I know. You just take an hour to choose your colours. <laughs> Remember that back in the day? And then you always ended up with the same. <laughs> okay. Oh, good times. There we go. So it looks like quite a busy tile, doesn't it? Quite a lot going on there. But I'm really pleased with it. I think it's uh, brilliant. Loving that one. So, okay. What are we going to do next? I think now it's time to sort of get the pencil out. And a little quick sip of tea. And a quick chew of my biscuit. Do we know when we have the jammy rings or the jammy dodgers? Do you always save the jam bit for last? Because I do. I have to. It's one of those things. It's, it's really bad when uh, Benji wants a bit and he can't have the jam bit. Oh, that's better, but there's no work. Oh, no dogs today. So. Okay, so where are we going to start with this then? What on earth are we going to do to get some shadow in? I think what we'll do, if we start at the bottom and work our way up, I'm going to come straight in with my pencil then, and I'm just going to add quite a bit of, quite a bit of graphite to that bottom Edge. You know where we did the, the little bubbles? And I'm not going to think about those little leaf shapes and try and sort of focus on those at all. It's not happening. I'm just going to literally add in the pencil there. And then moving it up bank. Now, I'm not going to add any in these because I think that's going to look nice if we do have a bit of red in there. So I'm just going to add a little bit on the outer edge of those heart shapes. Okay, same here. Now I think we'll we'll do all the pencil and then leave the reveal till the till the end. Okay, a little bit on those. You see, I'm just sort of working my way round, almost like little zigzaggy bits. Same on that one. Okay, and then when we did when we did these little bits here, I'm just going to add a touch there. And a touch there. Okay. So then it brings us to this section. And again, I'm just going to add, but maybe not as much this time. I'm just going to add a row of graphite around those bubbles. You see? So not as much as we did on the other side, just a little. Okay. <laughs> Barbara, I think I, I do the same as well. You know, when, when it comes to double-deckers and twixies, yeah, 
I have to separate everything. Okay, so you see here, I've, I've just added that sort of little slight smirky kind of shape to those little leaves there. And I'll just sort of do that as I'm going along. But I want to focus on one of these little flowers. So, again, I'm just going to add a little sort of, it's almost like a little smile, isn't it, on the side. And then pencil this side and this side. And then here, I'm just going to add a little bit around there. And then, so it's almost looking like a little bit of shadow going under those petals. And the same this side. I'm going to overdo it with those because I think I am going to come in and add a little bit of colour and places there. So, okay, just around, you know, just almost like giving it a bit of shadow there, see? <laughs> Do you mind it? <laughs> Seth likes Jaffa Kings. They don't know, Seth's one of the dogs. <laughs> yeah, you have to share Jaffa Kings. <laughs> I think he can sniff them out. It's a bit like dad, <laughs> like his dad, like John. <laughs> there we are. John can actually sneak a Jaffa cake and eat it before you even know he's been in the cupboard. <laughs> uh, there we go. <laughs> right. So again, you notice I'm not doing anything with the uh, little hearts there. I'm just working my way around the flowers. I'd apologise. I get carried away and I forget that I'm supposed to be explaining what I'm doing. I'm sorry. It's all good. <laughs> Alright, another one here. Look, a little bit of that smirk there. Let's add some to the sides. And just you know, adding that little bit of pencil in there. Okay. So again, you know, just on these little leaves, let's just add a little bit on the side. I think I'll come down and I'll, I'll just add a little bit see, to there. See, I'm not really colouring, it's just adding a little touch. <laughs> I don't know. I think, you know, I'm talking to, I feel like I'm talking to myself sometimes. So it's it's nice that somebody says, oh yeah, Sandra, we are listening. We've not muted yet. Well, not yet anyway. <laughs> All right, here we go. Just on these little bits here. Just going to add just a touch on the side. Same with this bit. And then. All right. Okay, let's have a look at that. Okay, we've still got a little bit to do, I reckon. <clears throat> just going to add a touch down the stem, you see, just down there. Just at that top end where that little bubble was. And there we go. All right. So it looks a bit rough around the edges, I know. But let's uh, bring in our torty on. Mm-hmm. And again, let's start at the bottom end. I'm just going to ever so gently just rub it over those little lines. It just sort of softens that edge and just gives it a little bit of shade on one side. Okay. And then, of course, I'm going to come on in. You notice how far I'm holding my tortillon up? It's just about ever so gently just... Working it round just to sort of create that shadow underneath there. Now, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on at all. I mean, if you think that it needs another go, you know, you need to sort of do another one, then you can go back over it. So, see, this time I'm actually going to come a little bit further down. Let's just sort of pull it a little bit. So, I'm just sort of stroking it across the page just to sort of help. Take it down over some of that. Oh, thank you, Nadia. I know, if I ramble on. <laughs> but no, there we go. See, just working my way around. It's just like a larger zigzag almost. I'm just pulling out some of the space there. Same in the edge, just outside those little heart shapes. And then with these ones, yeah, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe my conversation is a little bit more, <laughs> more decent than then I'm in a conversation with your husband. I know what it's like. <laughs> when I start mentioning, talking about entangling to John, he sort of looks at me as though I'm speaking a different language. 
And I do get that. That's nice, dear. <laughs> just humours me. <laughs> All right. Look how that sort of stood out now. You see, I know we haven't put any on there, but I'm going to come back in to, um, you know, to add a bit of colour. So again, just ever so gentle, adding a little bit of uh, sort of pencil and, you know, shading on those little leaves. There we go. So it doesn't take much, just a little bit. And again, just while I'm here, I might just touch up on those zingers there. You see, it's hardly anything, it's just a little bit. Okay, let's have a look at these flowers then. So, I'm just going to work around the bubble. And then here, I'm going to pull this and hit this side and that side, leaving that gap. And then here, I'm just going to ever so sort of gently just soften it out a bit. You see the difference? Okay, so I'm not trying to cover the hot petal. Let me pull it down there. I'm just trying to give it a little bit of dark and light. See that side and that side again, leaving the middle, pulling it up there. Oh, a little leaf there, look. All right. Now there's going to be quite a lot of it covered, but it's absolutely fine. There we go. Little bits. And of course, if you didn't want to do it with all the pencil and you wanted to go in full colour with this, then please feel free to do so. That would work quite nice. Or you could, you know, maybe use different colours. Even a nice watercolour this would make, I think. Just getting those little bits of detail in there. Especially if you've inked the background first and you've got a little bit of something to to work on. It might be quite nice, you know. Maybe do it as a little bit of a bigger project over the weekend. Just to give it, you know, something that's, you know, a bit of a difference. There we go. Okay, so a couple of things then. First thing, I'm going to bring in some pencils. My, I'm using my pastels and it's definitely going to be a bit of red. So if you haven't got pastels, these are, or you don't know what they are, they're a bit chalky. And so we can actually use a tortillon with these to help us sort of spread it. It's a little bit like using the graphite, but in colourful. Mm -hmm. So if you've got if you've got something like that, that's great. If not, you could come in with pencil or pen and use whatever. But with a regular pencil, you, you know, coloured pencils, you can't use a tortillon. It's not going to move them. So just adding some red to my hearts there. The difference that makes. Oh, there we go. See, look, I've left a little leaf there without adding a bit of shadow. And so even underneath in those, just by adding that little bit of colour has really made a difference, hasn't it? There we go. That depends on how much colour you want to add. Look at that. Or how much you want to leave out or want this. See, I definitely want to put a little bit in there, see? You notice I'm working on the sort of the dark bit. I'm not actually colouring it in, I'm just adding some. There we go, you see? Well, let's go a little bit larger, just so you can see what I've done there. You see, a little bit rough, but that's okay. Now I'm using a different tortillon for my, you know, there's my graphite one, look. And here's my tortillon for my pastel. And I'm just gonna come in and just gonna touch around it a little bit. So it's not that I'm trying to colour and fill the whole thing in. I'm just sort of giving it a little bit of a, sort of pushing it into the paper, I suppose. You see, and then you can just, you know, you can shape it round if you want to. So, you know, I'm using them in exactly the same way as I would with that regular pencil. Just giving myself a little bit of a highlight, if I can. So I'm not filling the whole thing. There you go. Even little bits. Okay. Of course, I'm going to come back and do that little heart in a minute. Missed that one. There we go. So it doesn't, it doesn't need much. It's back to that little heart. There we go. So. 
<laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> it's nice that he remembers me. So say hello too. It's good. Okay, so black pastel now. You think, well, why use black? It just gives it that little bit more depth in there. You know, we just want to sort of give this little border a bit of a, a bit of a movement there. Do not put much in. I'm going to do the same there. There we go. Now, because I've used a black, I'm actually going to use my graphite tortillon just to push it out a little bit. You see? Same on this one. You see the difference? It's just by having that bit. It's a really, really good black, actually. Some blacks are a little bit wishy washy, aren't they? It's nice to have that in your sort of your, your arsenal. <laughs> All right, back in with the black. You remember when we did those little sort of, sort of, I don't know what they're called underneath the flowers. I'm just gonna add a touch of black in on those too, just to, you know, give it that little bit. Bit of life there, let's have a look. That's it. Okay, almost done. So I, I didn't use this, or I didn't tell you I'd got this out earlier, but I have got a white pencil. It doesn't matter if it's pencil actually, but I've got a white gel pen. So remember these little uh, bubbles that we did? Again, it's just nice to add a white highlight. Now you can actually go in and use a white pastel to do this, but I quite like using the pen. Just one stroke across, no, no faffing with this. Just the one stroke. There we go. Right. Bits. Okay, let's have a look at that. Oh, but Nadia, you could still use red on a red tile. Uh, tell you what would look really nice using a white pencil or a white pastel on the red tile. I know Leslie absolutely loves working on the red, and she uses. Um, black and white on it as well. So yeah, and you could perhaps do your hearts in a gold or a silver. So you, <laughs> you're scribbling in there. So, you know, don't don't think, oh, I can't use red. But, or you could even come in with a darker red or a glaze or, a, um, a, you know, like a, a shiny red with a bit of glitter in. So absolutely, you know, when you look at that, you th I'm not actually gonna put any more color on that at all. I'm gonna leave it just with the monochrome but with that red sticking out there absolutely love it i think um we've we've done ourselves proud today with this one there's just a little bit see there i just I didn't quite shade that bit there and you know what i'm going to come back in with a pencil just for a little bit just these little tweaks so i'm just going to add a little bit either side you see a little bit either side same here just giving it that little bit of shadow. And back over here, little bits. And then of course, I'm gonna just do a little bit there as well. Back in with that tortillon. Now again, we're just gonna pull it round, but we're gonna leave a gap in the middle, just for that highlight. There we go, see, little bits. See, now I'm faffing now. I've seen something else I want to just add a little bit to. There we go. Now I've got so much on my pen, my torty on my pencil, I don't need to add any there. Okay, coming back in with that white pen. Oh, we've our best one yet out of 112. My goodness me. Do myself proud to see my pen doesn't want to work now in a second. There we go. I'm just going to come back in here because we've got a lot of graphite on this page. Sometimes, and we've mentioned this before, just redefining things. And, and a lot of the time we will come back in with a, a black pen and add the black back in. This time I think I'm just going to bring back that white of those dots just to sort of keep it going. There we go. Nice to have that bit of a break there. So that's it. I'm happy with that. You see, it just gives it that little bit of look at me, I'm still here. There we go. 
All right, so I think that, yeah, I don't think, I know that one's all done and sorted. So I think the last, the last thing we do need to do, just put your signature in. But of course, if you decide that you like this one and you're sending it to somebody that, uh, you know, you want to be your Valentine, then maybe don't sign it. Or maybe sign it and make them guess who it is anyway. So it's, uh, hopefully, that one's going to keep you going. I think, yeah, try it again, but try it maybe on a different colour tile. Try and have a go ink in the background first and putting it over. Maybe you want to go full colour. It's, uh, <laughs> thank you, Barbara. It's, yeah, totally different, isn't it? Yet again. So I'm just spotting bits now. I haven't shaped it, but there you go. I mean, you could come in and you could add a little bit of colour on the tips of the flowers. You could drop shadow some of these. You could bring a lot of colour in here. This is actually really lovely. This could be a great little gem, couldn't it, as well? And then you could pick up the gems in this as well. So absolutely lots of things to sort of play with there. But for now, it's three o'clock or just gone. And it's time really now to say, have a lovely weekend. And, uh, you know, have fun with it. Let me see what you're, uh, what you're posting and what you're doing. And, of course, if you're up for it, and I'm sure we all are, tile number two. Woohoo! Tile number two swaps will happen on Monday at two o'clock. So I'll be here with my sketch pad. And just as before, I'll show you a tangle, which I've got one in mind. So I'll show you a tangle. I'll give you a couple of ideas of what you can do with it. It is going to be one that we've we've actually had on our tiles within the 112 that we've done so far but uh, so you can go back and have a look at those or you can you know, create your own do something a bit different or if you've got a particular tile you really like you could you know redo it with this particular tangle so we'll talk about that a little bit more on monday so have a good weekend everybody stay safe drink lots of tea stay warm and have good fun with this one um so okay i will see you monday bye everyone